Okay, sixth grade, lesson 44. This one is on simplifying decimal numbers and then comparing decimal numbers. Okay, let's talk about something real quick. I may have told you this in the past, but let's review something real quick. Did you know that 0 0.3 is the same as 0 0.30, as the same yep. as 0 0.300, as 0 0.3000? And million and trillion. Okay, it keeps going on. You could add as many zeros as you wanted. It's still, the answer is still going to be 0. 0.3. Okay? Or mean that. Yeah. It means that, okay? So, what I want you to see is, if I were t to take this number, and I told you to simplify the answer, what would the uh, real final answer be? 0 0.01. 0 0.01. So these are called ending zeros, okay? And you don't need them, okay? Now, what if you had 0 0.0103? Does that matter? Zero matter? Yes. yes. Okay, because it's holding a place because the end of the number ends here, okay? So we needed these zeros. But if they're at the end... And there just keeps being zeros, so you can erase them. You don't even have to have them. Okay? That's how you simplify numbers with zeros at the end. So if the number was 3.6000000001, it still count? Yes, you need every bit of one of those zeros. <laughs> you got it? Okay, so if I told you to compare, that's our comparison where we're going to put greater than, less than, yeah. all that. Same. Same. Excellent job. Okay. What I would encourage you to do is to always take this one and this one and line them up with your decimals. And then you can ask yourself, oh, that's an ending zero. It doesn't have to be there. Therefore, the answer is the same. Excellent job. Okay. Let's do another one.